All right, guys, we got our watt cycle battery fully recharged. We're going to go ahead and get our amp meter set up here. So everything's reset. It's set to a 100%. I set the amp hours to 314. And right here where it says total amp hours, that's going to count how many amp hours we get out of the battery. I'm going to run this test at a 0.2C load, which is going to be about 62 amps. The closest I could get it to is about 60 amps on the charge verter side of things. So we're going to run it at 60 amps and we'll see what the capacity is. This test should take about five hours. We just completed the capacity test on our watt cycle battery and we got 315.4 amp hours. So I got the battery fully recharged. We're now going to do some load testing. So the battery is rated at 200 amps and I have enough appliances we can plug into this to give us more than 200 amps up to 300 if we need it. The first load I'm going to turn on is going to be our charge verter and that's going to charge our 48 volt battery bank. Once we get the charge verter going, we're going to plug in this 1500 watt space heater. And then if I need to, I have an additional 12 volt 30 amp charger that can put another 400 watts on load on the system. And those three combined should give us as much power as we can hopefully pull out of the battery. Hopefully you guys can see our little display, but so far we are at 103 amp. Next, I'm going to turn on the space heater on low. Looks like that got us to over 180 amps and the voltage is steadily holding at 12.8, 12.79. That's really good. Now we're going to kick it on high. All right, there we go. We're over 200 amps. So let's see how long the load will run. We're pulling over 3000 watts. We're actually Oh, there it went. It just shut off. So that was quick. It actually worked really good. Okay, the battery just now powered up. It took about 30 seconds for the BMS to restart. Very happy to see the high current protection works. I love to see that. That is awesome.